Uh, what we have here is uh, Cambridge Consultants' uh, proprietary self-tuning liquid metal antenna. So, the, so it's a liquid. The antenna is formed by a conductive liquid, uh, which is a gallium alloy. It is non-toxic, and it has already been approved by the FDA for uh, dental amalgams and oral thermometers as a replacement for mercury. As you know, mercury is toxic. So um, what we do here is that we create the antenna structure using the liquid metal. So here is a breakup of the antenna. So you can see that this antenna is made on a base PDMS material, and you have the liquid alloy that's inside it, which is the shiny stuff that you can see there. So uh, what we do is that we connect pumps and valves, and uh, we pump the liquid alloy to change the shape of the antenna after it has been implanted into the patient. So the problem we are trying to address by doing this is that when the patient, when you design an antenna for an implant, the, the antenna is more designed for an average person. It's not designed from a person-to-person -person basis. But um, so here we have two phantoms, one for a, a representing a slim person and another representing a more obese person. And the slim person, uh, it is actually a true phantom where you have multiple layers of uh, uh, liquid that represent muscle and skin. And this is a, a bottle that's filled with saline in which the implant is suspended. Now, uh, the same goes here where you have multiple layers of uh, fat inside it. And uh, what, what we are trying to show is that as you go from the slim person to the obese person, you see a small drop in signal but not a significant drop because the antenna tunes itself um, in, in, uh, in, in, in when it's implanted. So um, now when I put first the slim person, you can see the level of the signal, it's all green. If it, if it goes above minus phi, it gets, it gets red, which means you have no communication between the two. And you can see that it's flatlined, it's not changing. And now, when I, when I move to the, the obese person, you can see that the signal is dropped, but it's dropped only by about 3 dB. And um, uh, there is, there, whereas if you had no tuning on this, it would drop by about 20 dB, and it would go off the screen. So, the, so we have shown that we can improve the communication link between an external base station and an antenna and a receiver that's inside the body uh, using our proprietary liquid metal antenna technology. So where can this, where is this useful in practical life? So now when you, when you design an implant, uh, the problem it addresses is the fact that um, the implant uh, works has to work both in air and when it's inside the body. So now, when 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 you implant it inside the the patient, then the doctor for, and the nurse first have to make a connection between the base station to the implant in air to program the implant, and then the doctor has to operate and stitch the implant up, and then the the nurse has to again communicate with the implant. So the air and inside the body are very different uh, radio frequency environments, and they affect the antenna very differently. So our technology takes care of that variation and we tune for each person, hence the name In Tune With You, which is for each body type, we tune the antenna and change the antenna's shape so that we get optimum wireless link between the implant and the antenna.